One more Kenyan has been killed in crossfire involving clashes between the Ethiopian army and Ethiopian militia at Sesi in Moyale. The Kenyan man was caught up in heavy gunfire at about 9 p.m. last night. The Kenya Army and RDU have been deployed to Wayagoda and Madoadi in Sololo Marsabit County following incursions by the Ethiopian Federal Army into Kenyan borders who went on rampage on villages along the border touching houses and arresting five teenagers who were later released even as the government interior officials in Marsabit demands the Ethiopian government to respect its borders. The Ethiopian army is reported to have suffered casualties when its soldiers engaged the Ethiopian militia at the border town of Sololo. The move by the soldiers to pursue militia increased tensions in the villages of Wayagoda, Anona and Madoadi, forcing residents to flee their homes. Locals say the Ethiopian military raided and burned down villages as they engaged the militia. Kenyan authorities have criticized the movement of Ethiopian army within its borders without following protocol. Confirming the incident, Deputy County Commissioner for Sololo, Ayub Waruhi, and County Police Commander Steve Olo have asked the Ethiopian security personnel to use the right channels to address criminals within its borders. Tungeomba pia tuweshimiwe kama Kenya. Tuweshimiwe kama Kenya, tupatewe shima yetu, kama iko kitu ambayo watu wa Ethiopia wanaona si mzuri, wafuate ile protocol so that tukai na amani na jirani. Ili watu wote ni majirani. Likuwa tuli makosa, lakini kuna njia ambayo inastahili ina ifuatwe. Na serikali ya Kenya inaendelea ku, uh, kuwasiliana kwa sababu ya mambo ya diplomacy. Ili, hili, hili jambo lisiwe lina, lina jitokeza. According to interior officials in Marsabit, this is not the first time Ethiopian army has violated the border and crossed into Kenya without authority. Insecurity along the border has increased this year with the Ethiopian government accused of causing instability at the border. Schools have also been affected by the insecurity in the villages of Wayogoza, Anona and Madoadi. And uh, such kind of incident actually scare even the school going uh, children. And I think uh, I call upon the security authority. I'm happy the county commander has assured us that actually the police will be patrolling, the GSC will be here, and uh, still that's not enough. The government has assured residents that security will be beefed up along the border. My request to Meuliza a Kenya Army, uh, wafanye eh, eh, walete batalion yao hapa, walete watu wao hapa, wakae kwa muda wa majuma mawili matatu, ili eh, kulinda usalama wa wananchi wetu hapa Sololo. Residents along the border have blamed the army and militias from Ethiopia for cross-border insecurities, even as the Kenyan government opts for dialogue to end the insecurity at the border. Mamo Ali, NTV, Sololo, Marsabit County.